Well, hey y'all, guess what today is? It is National Popcorn Day, and we're gonna make some popcorn, and we're gonna use our pressure cooker. I've got my Instapot plugged in. I'm gonna push the saute button, and I'm gonna push the saute button until it shows that it's on high. That's low, medium, there we go, and that's high. I'm not gonna pressurize this. I don't even have the seal in the lid, but I am gonna use this as a lid. I'm just gonna set it right there. It's not gonna pressure, it's not gonna do any of that. Something's always beeping around here, y'all. But it's just so easy to use this instead of getting my big iron skillet or my big thing out and put it on the stove and, and doing it like that. This will take a little while to heat up. But I'm gonna use a flavorless coconut oil, unflavored, and I'm gonna use two tablespoons of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pour that in there. And I'm gonna use, put a couple kernels of popcorn in here. There we go. And you do wanna use fresh popcorn, um, not, not the stuff from last winter. You need a fresh thing of popcorn. And so I'm gonna let this heat up and it's gonna pop, pop. And you can absolutely use a, if you have a lid to one of your other pots and pans that fits this, you can put that on there. You can use a, a, a cookie sheet or whatever, but if you do use some, or the bottom of a pie pan, whatever fits, uh, a glass lid would be fun because then you could watch it. But what you do, if you use something other that's gonna be hot, like something that's metal, you'll wanna use your pot holders because occasionally we are gonna do it like this. Just kinda make sure everything is popping in there. So keep that in mind if you don't use just your lid. So I'm gonna let this sit here and heat up and whenever it pops, we'll get back together and we'll put our popcorn in. So see y'all back in just a little bit. Okay y'all, it took Okay, y'all, it took about five minutes for the, it to get hot and for this to pop. So, I'm going to add my one-fourth cup of popcorn, and I'm gonna stir it around just to make sure everybody gets all coated in that oil, and I'm gonna just set the lid right there on top, and we're waiting for it to pop. Well, it is starting to pop, when I was growing up, we had popcorn a lot for supper time because mother would cook a big dinner at 11 and cause daddy was always hungry because he was always working hard. But we'd have popcorn and glass of tea or popcorn and coffee or something like that for supper, or cheese and crackers. So I love popcorn, especially at night when you're watching a movie and we're gonna watch Funny Farm tonight. That's gonna be, that's gonna be good. And when I was little in high school and everything, I would go to my friend's house I'd come home and say, Mother, they had this product called Jimmy Pop. And you put it on the stove, you do it like this, and it gets, you know how Jimmy Pop is. And Mother would say, we are not spending money on things that we can make at home. And now I appreciate that because the older I get, the more times I want to take the time to do the things that take the time. And when you make things at home your own self, you can control the chemicals and the products that you use, and you can make it healthy, and you can make it the way you like it. I love popcorn popped like this because I don't, it doesn't smell as bad as microwave popcorn. And also, I don't have to get out the iron skillet or the big pot and put it on the stove and do it back and forth. Um, plus, everything needs to earn its keep if it's gonna be in the kitchen. So, as many, things that you can find to do with your Instapot or air fryer or whatever it is that you like. Uh, Google, come up with some things that, uh, that you can do differently with it. Pinterest is a great thing, and YouTube. And I will, I will make a confession to y'all. I really wanted to show you how to do a caramel corn in the pressure cooker. I had three flops yesterday y'all and there was just no way to make it where it didn't burn and I watched five different people making it and I surely they they switch products at the end because they all looked perfect and I did it exactly like they said 
three failures and I decided I'm done wasting product. I'm gonna do it the way I know it works and the way we like it. So if any of you sweet people have actually made kettle corn in the pressure cooker and it worked and it did not burn, please let me know because I wanna do it. I love those when you go to a festival. Let's see. I still hear some rolling around in there. Let's count between pops. Okay, I think it's done. It's not, but I'm going to carefully take this lid off and I'm gonna get my pot holders. There's a few old maids there in the bottom, but that's okay. Let's pour this out in our, let me put this in the sink. there. Now, at this point, you can do your favorite thing. You can salt and pepper it. You can put garlic salt on it. You can do drizzle it with butter if you like. I'm a purist. I just like mine just like this. Just hot and crunchy. And that just suits my fancy. So, mm -mm -mm. we're going to get on this popcorn now it gets cool and go put our movie in so happy national popcorn day get out the old air fryer get her dance around the kitchen making some popcorn i think you'll like it i'll see you next time bye y'all